Good morning, guys. Uh, it's a little bit darker, the, the, uh, the lighting, because I, it's Saturday and I slept in. So I'm under the umbrella. It's already a little bit hot here in Phoenix. It's about 7.30. I have my hot coffee. I'm gonna trade it in for cold coffee when I get done with this video. So there's a couple of things that prompted me to think about this idea of, is your business too feminine? And I'll share those with you. And then I have a question on the back end of the video for the women who are watching and then also for the men who are watching. So a couple things that prompted me to think about it. The first one is a conversation with another female entrepreneur earlier in the week where we were talking about her business and her branding and the fact that while her message is primarily female, that it also, the messaging and the, the leadership coaching also relates to many men as well. And I can totally relate to that because that's exactly what I face in my business. I've got two sides of the business. So I have the professional woman's mentor, which is uh, focused on helping professional women rise in their careers. And I'm also a strategic change consultant. So that is my organizational superpower, if you will. Um, and so as I was chatting with her, she asked me the question, do you think that my message and my branding needs to be niched down further? You know, do I really uh, need to just focus on women because I'm afraid I will leave out the men who could resonate with my content? And I asked her, do you think that men have these kinds of conversations? And my gut is they might, but I would say probably not as often as women. Um, I came into the corporate world in the 80s, and I will tell you that there was no female messaging at that time. We've come a whole lot farther. Uh, whenever I would go to a conference or a leadership training, or even in casual discussions, pronouns were always he, content was always very masculine, and I just had to adjust, you know, to make it work for me, or I, I began to look past the pronouns. And you fast forward today, and we're in a much better place with that. I do find that female entrepreneurs, like me and the woman I was talking with, we struggle with this. And I find myself wondering the same thing sometimes. And, and I also have worked with clients who have asked me to make my content more general, gender neutral. So it might be the colors, it might be the fonts, it might be the pictures that are inside of the content, the PowerPoint presentations, the guides, and then either removing the female pronouns completely or doing a mix of he and she throughout the content. And I wonder if these same conversations are happening with as much frequency with men entrepreneurs. Um, and, so I'll give you a couple examples of marketers who are one, really getting this right, and the other one just really owning her female energy in the entrepreneurial space. And they're, they're both marketing experts. So the first one is Seth Godin. Seth's books, I, I was fortunate to be able to watch one of his keynotes. So his books, his keynotes, uh, his emails, I'm on his email list, are a really good balance of that male-female dynamic. His marketing niche, the people that he supports are both men and women. Um, and he really does get that balance right and it doesn't feel contrived. You know, you can tell when, oh, there's a couple of pictures popped in there either for, to make it more diverse from a gender perspective or from a, a nationality perspective. You can kind of tell when it's contrived and I don't get that vibe from Seth at all. It feels very natural. Uh, so he really, really gets it right. So he's a great one to study. Another one is Shay Robottom. And she, if you haven't heard about Shay, she is a LinkedIn content expert, prime, well, completely in the video space. Um, I love Shay. I started following her, I think, two years ago, and she has just exploded on LinkedIn. And uh, her videos are very funny. A lot of them are entrepreneurial based. And she also posts very serious, great content around how to market yourself, um, you know, the do's and don'ts of LinkedIn. And she's just a really good person to watch. Watch her rise, watch how she changes her own marketing strategy. And she did a video uh, within the last couple, couple of weeks on feminine energy and how feminine energy is not valued as much in the workplace as masculine energy is. 
And it got me thinking back to these conversations with this female entrepreneur that I was chatting with last week, um, back to many requests that I've received to make my content, which tends to have a very feminine feel, to make that more gender, gender neutral. And then Shay's comment about the feminine masculine energy. So that's what's really on my mind. And I think, you know, the important thing for me, what I always think about when I'm redoing content uh, for a group is, well, yes, my brand is important. It's less about that and more about what's going to connect with the audience. So if they're not going to be able to hear the message because it's extremely feminine, then I think, you know, changing the colors, updating some pronouns, changing of the conversation a bit is the right thing to do. I just wonder how often men are asked to do the same thing. So my first question is for the gentleman. How often are you asked to change your content and make it more gender neutral or less masculine? And then for the women, how often are you asked to change your content or make it more gender, gender neutral to tone down the femininity? Um, I'm, you know, experimenting with that in my own business and I'm really enjoying the branding that we recently created. We've got some new color schemes and uh, just some new content that is definitely geared toward the woman professional and like my colleague would also resonate with men. So I guess my final question as I'm sitting here wrapping this up is for the men, are you, when you see either a, like a master class or you're reading content and there's a lot of female pronouns and it is geared towards a woman, are you able to extract the value from that or do you find that to be a barrier? So that's my thoughts today. Is your business too feminine? Hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. I'm getting ready to pop this on YouTube and then take off with the hubby for the day. I hope you're doing something fun as well and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.